Hey, what's up, guys? Back for another lesson. Um, be showing you how to play Cody Johnson's Ain't Nothing to It. I am two and a half steps, so I'm capoed on the fourth fret, pure and standard tuning, capo on the third fret. Um, the chords in the song is going to be G. We have A minor, uh, C over B, which is index finger, first fret of the B, middle finger, second fret of the A. Uh, we have D. And uh, there'll be a couple of different ways we play C. We have the regular C. And uh, C9, uh, I'll be playing that a couple ways, which one way is with my finger on the uh, B string of the third fret, and then the other way is with my finger on the high E of the third fret. And I'll show you in a minute why I do that. Um, I'll also be doing my G this way, which is ring finger third fret of the low E, pinky third fret of the high E, and my finger will be resting on that A string. It doesn't need to uh, ring out. And the reason I do my G this way is for those little hammer-ons. Okay, and that is the intro uh, with that G, uh, G. And I don't even have my pinky down right now. The only thing I'm, I got down is my finger on that third fret of that low E. So strum down. strum from like the D string down and then hammer on to that uh, B string on the first fret. Okay, and then you'll do an up strum with your pinky on the B string of the third fret. And on that up strum I'm usually just hit the B, the G, and the D. C, I just have my finger on the third fret of the A string. So I just a down strum, and then I'll do a, a pull off on the B string of the first fret. And I, on, on that pull off, I'll be playing the uh, G and B string together, but I'm just doing the pull off on the B string. regular C and then do an up strum on that C. Okay, then he goes into the uh, verse which is uh, G and like I said I did my G that way with my pinky on the third fret of the high E and ring finger on the third fret of the low E. I'll be doing this little hammer on uh, with my middle finger to the B, um, sorry, on the D string of the second fret. Then it goes to that C. And when I go to that C, uh, play it and then do the hammer on to the uh, D string of that second fret. not confusing you. with the hammer on and then the 
goes into the chorus. So let's do the uh, verse again. to the chorus, which is C, or C at 9, either way you're going to do it. And then on the G of um, the chorus, you'll be doing that same little hammer on to the D string of the um, second fret. So again. Second time through, that's when the, I usually do the C add, the C add nine with my um, finger on the B string of the third fret on that little first part of the chorus, and then that next time um, after I do the uh, G, I'll just drop my fingers down and I'll leave my pinky on that high E for, for that second little part. So again. to the um, um, the way you did from the beginning in that little uh, intro part. And the rest of the song is exactly the same, other than at, at the uh, the very end, he'll do that little A minor part twice. So he'll do the... about it I don't think I missed anything uh, if I did just leave a comment and I will answer back um, please like and subscribe and also I have a, uh, a cover of this so if you want to um, watch it follow along with my chord changes and uh, see as I go along uh, be sure to check that out and as always please like and subscribe thanks